Okay, I'm back. Um, what I did was I, the top is going to be kind of difficult to understand how to do. Um, this next one comes in like so, you know, and it has a little bit of a dip here and then it goes back out again. But you almost need to do the same thing with the ends here. So what I did was I took my knife and I first made, I cut like a little V cut, a little V cut at the top. This thing's a little taller than I am, so um, it's a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. Okay? But we need to have that little bit of a notch at the top there. And, you know, to have it... So what we're going to do is we're going to follow that just like so. We're going to cut that out. We're going to put like a, a three cut in, just like we do with chip carving. Uh, chip carving is just a matter of putting a, a deep... It's like a stop cut. This is going to be like a three-way. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it from this side. Okay, see what we're doing? Okay, so that was one. And I may have to make this a little more pronounced than what is on the... Uh, but I don't want it too far, so I'm going to have to cut some of this off. I need to get rid of these one glass, set of glasses. Alright, so... I'm going to fuss with this a little bit more and when I'm offline and I'm going to follow this completely out like so. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to get done. Okay. Because remember, when we cut this out on the bandsaw, this was wavy at the top here a little bit. When we are doing this side, this is kind of flat. So we need to make that wavy look you know, the same way. So, technically, this one here needs to be a little more pronounced with with uh, with the look than the other. So, what I'm going to do is um, this this is sticking up, and this doesn't have to be so pronounced because technically, this is sitting underneath. If you look at this photograph, this is sitting this is sitting on behind the other two. So if you would look at this from the other side, you're really only going to see this portion or this portion of it. Okay, you're going to see a little bit of a dip there, but nothing fantastic there. Um, but it will come together, folks, you know. We're going to undercut here a little bit as well. I didn't do that on the other side, but uh, why am I doing that? Because I want to give it more depth to it, you know. Just to give it a little bit more that it's a tulip. Okay? We're just going to cut those petals out a little bit more. And I don't think it would hurt to do it all the way down here a little deeper. Because that really is just sitting over on top of everything else. That, that one is really dominating the rest of them. I'm going to watch my time here. It was almost over the limit here. Uh, Alright, so what I want you to do is go back and make those corners more pronounced, just like what I did there, okay? You want to cut that out so it has a 3D effect and that you can see that petal out a little bit and that, see that petal come out a little bit more. And what I may end up doing is cutting just a part of this off. Whoops. Part of this off. The vase keeps pushing it up here. Um, you know, but it, it, will, it will come, folks. This might have to be scooped out a little bit, just to give it a little more depth to it. You know, and sometimes you don't need to do a whole lot to a piece to make it look uh, like uh, a tulip, okay? Or make it, you don't have, how can I explain this to you? You don't need to make the, de and the cuts all the way up underneath and around. You can do it to, uh, to a degree that it will give it the illusion that it's going all the way around. Alright, and what I might end up doing, since I'm going to be using the wood burner later, and that's optional for you folks, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, wood burner to put these little lines on. Now, I don't know if you can see that on here, but there's these really fine, like almost like a, a silver look to this to this tulip and um, it's got one barb down the center and it's almost like a feather like look to it 
So I'm going to try to make it as realistic as I possibly can without going into a crazy amount of detail. But I'm going to go back and around and I'm going to scoop out. Now what we're going to do here is, this is our next, this is our next area right here. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to round that up a little bit further. Okay, we're going to round that to, towards the center a little bit more. And we're going to do the same thing there. We're going to undercut, and I'll do it right now. Um, I'm going to, let me see how I can do this. I'm just going to undercut it like so. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit at an angle. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to push it down over underneath that other, other, <laughs> other petal. I'm thinking of birds right now. Alright, and then we're going to cut that out, but you're going to be very, very careful. Remember, use your thumb as the control mechanism. Okay, so we're going to cut that out a little bit. We're going to go down kind of deep. And it's okay if you go a little bit deeper, it's not going to hurt any. Okay. And see, that's rounding down and under. See that? That's perfect. Yeah, we might get a flower after all, folks. All right. So that's the second petal. All right. So that's how we're going to get this this thing to look like a uh, <laughs> look like a tulip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep adding those. And I'll I'll figure that out in a second here. I haven't done one of these before, so I'm going to have to get offline and do a little bit of research on my own and try to figure that out for you. But it's coming along. It will it will really come along pretty good here. I think we're going to have a pretty nice looking tulip when it gets done here. But the top is going to be a little bit challenging because I don't want it to look like just a hunk of wood at the top. So I need to do some research on that and I'll be back. 